What's up? <laughs> you you really do. You really do. What's yeah, up, everybody? Stevie Bizzle, founder of Allegiance here, um, with you on Saturday, December 18th, 19th? I don't even know what day it is, but it is, it's 8 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock on a Saturday, and we have, this is our Christmas special episode, Zod and Cole. What are you thinking? Yay! It is. Oh, it's exciting. Okay. Can't handle Christmas it. Can't. Over yet. I mean, Cole yeah. was so excited about the Christmas special that she actually went a day early, and she drank a little too yeah. much last night. So just a little, just, just a little, just a little, a little, a little eggnog snuggled with love. <laughs> we, we won't go yeah, into details, but <laughs> yeah, we don't. We won't go into the details about uh, the text messages. And, yeah, but. <laughs> How you guys doing today, Cole? How, how was your week? Um, it was actually uh, pretty good. Not gonna lie, it was pretty good. Pretty good week, huh? Yeah, that's all I got. Name. <laughs> that's really all I got. And uh, <laughs> what's that? How was your week? It's been great, man. My week's been fantastic, man. A lot of a lot of good things happening in my week. So, you know. Probably gonna go watch Star Wars later on tonight, but we won't go into details about that. Don't you dare spoil it! <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah, Star Wars coming out. You know what? I've heard. I haven't heard anything about the movie itself, right? But based on the feedback that I've heard of people going in, um, they love it. I mean, they really love the movie. Yeah. You know, like it's sounds like J.J. Abrams said another home run with the reboot, which is which is cool to hear. I mean, I'm sure that makes you more excited, Cole. You being the Star Wars girl that you are, right? Well, let me put it this way. I did ask around for the people that saw it, and I asked if my favorite people, the Mandalorians, are in it, and they're not, so now I really want to see it, because he didn't fuck up my people, because they're not in it, so yay! <laughs> no, I actually do want to see it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, diehard fan over here. <laughs> what are you thinking about Star Wars, Zod? You're not that big into it, right? You're kind of like me. Yeah, I'm not really that big into Star Wars. Like, I, I could tell you the basics of the storyline, you know, but if you were to go into deep details about the lore, I couldn't tell you anything about it, man. But, uh, you, make my you heart know. Hurt. I know. I know. My, but, my, uh. My non <laughs> heart. <laughs> Her non existent heart, that's how bad I'm being right now. But, I mean, I'm still going to go watch it. I did hear a lot of good things about it, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Well, awesome. Well, we got a we got a special show tonight for everybody, guys. Um, first and foremost, with the Christmas special, we will be giving a prize away every ten minutes tonight. So every ten minutes of the podcast, we will be giving away gifts, good old gifts. Yay! Yes, tis the season, and um, we will be giving away a bunch of gifts to either our fellow Allegiance community members, some Bella Bunny. Um, Friends, because Belle will be joining us today for our uh, for our weekly interview, so that should be nice. We have a lot of questions to ask her. She brings a lot to the table. Founder of Dames of Destiny, co-host of Guardians Radio, um, and we'll try to plug her as much as we can and uh, help help what they build over there. And it should be an interesting interview, guys. What do you what are you looking forward to in the Bella Bunny interview? Well, I've been looking. I've been so looking forward to this interview for. For a while, we were trying to set this up a couple of weeks earlier, but uh, I'm just I'm just glad it's happening now, man. It's it should be very exciting. Yeah, I know. Uh, Bunny came down with the uh, the sickness. She was down yeah. with the sickness, according to Disturbed. Down with so, the sickness. <laughs> and um, <laughs> she unfortunately couldn't join us a couple weeks ago, but um, she's with us tonight. She's actually joined the uh, she's joined the party here. She's just waiting on mute until we bring her in. Um, but we have a couple things to discuss about the community first, right, guys? We got some exciting things going on, Zod, don't we? We do. And before I continue, man, Cole, Cole where are you at? What? Do you notice? Do you notice anything different about Stevie? He's actually a hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we have seen Stevie not as a Titan. This is amazing. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, what the? Hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me just do like a full, uh, like 360 here. <laughs> 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 like he's a, no. he's a hunter. <laughs> I'm, per, I'm a purple hunter. I'm pretty, he's I'm pretty gorgeous. Race now. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty Master gorgeous. Master race. 
No. You heard me, Warlock. Which, Shut it. Wait. You fucking know where the fuck is. What? Has to race. You can well, suck just, it. To, <laughs> just to keep it on time <laughs> schedule. Um, <laughs> yeah, so big things are happening in the clan, and obviously, as we all know by now, the tournament. Uh, that's Yay. going underway. Um, there's a lot of. There's still a lot of. There's still a couple of teams that still need a couple of spots, but other than that, it's, it's starting to take shape, and uh, and it's looking pretty competitive. I don't know, what do you think, Cole? It's looking pretty, it's looking pretty damn competitive. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, like I said in the draft special, you're going down, Zod. You're, you're, you're you know it. You just know Why it. is everything always about me, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to shove your face in the dirt. <laughs> but, we uh, won't not even... really. This, I, we're, you know what's going to happen. But yeah, I mean, the speedrun is going to be totally awesome. It's going to be really fun, especially um, seeing who comes out on top with these uh, facets. Blech, I can't even speak right now. My well, tongue doesn't want to cooperate. Well, you are hungover, so but, that's, uh, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah I am but hungover. <laughs> so, Unfortunate. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's going to be fun to see who comes out on top, what strategies are used, who uses what characters, because there might be a, a fun little thing where I'm not running as a hunter, believe it or not for the first time in history. So, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting how people really sort out their tactics, their teams, because you have to realize we're going to have to sort out what everyone is doing before we even go in there. Because stopping and assigning who's going to do what is just going to eat up time. So I'm really looking forward to how people run this. It'll be great. It should be very interesting. I, I think based on the teams that we're seeing already fill out, I think there's a lot more parity than, than you would think within this community, you know? And anybody who hasn't signed up yet that uh, that is a part of the Allegiance community, please sign up. There's about 24 slots left in the um, in the tournament, um, so there's plenty of spots left. We, we're about two two to three weeks left in sign up, so there's plenty of time to pick and choose which team you'd like to join. You know, we're uh, we're giving away uh, sixty dollars per person um, for the winning team uh, for this uh, for this upcoming tournament. So that's that's basically like a video game. If you want to get yeah. a new game or you know load up on your Destiny emotes or whatever the case may be, uh, there's there's a uh, there's a lot of nice giveaways that that is courtesy of the Allegiance Bank and the Allegiance community. So so that's a first exciting thing. But we also announced something earlier in the week as well, Cole, didn't we? About uh, SRL. We did. So we have this special little thing because we realized SRL is extremely fun, even if you never won like I do. <laughs> but it's still extremely fun, and we want it to be somewhat competitive within our own clan. Especially since you can take a full fire team of six in, which I think is freaking amazing. But uh, so we're keeping track with uh, official events. So in Advin, we'll set up an official event for SRL. You'll go in, they'll actually keep track of who is first, second, and third. Those points are going to be added up on a tracker. And then you can actually win PSN credit if you are the first, second, or third at the end of the SRL league um, within our clan, which is running what? Till the end of SRL? I mean, it's going to be freaking fantastic if you're not already in it. If you are, I hope you're making people eat your dust because it's, it's fantastic. But, uh, yeah, if you want to get on that, just look for an admin-sanctioned uh, event on the calendar for SRL. Get in there kick some butt and uh, get on that scoreboard. Our dad, Zav, what's the feedback you heard on the SRL contest this for? Uh, it's it's very competitive and actually there is <laughs> one particular person who's just taking that whole competition by a storm man, uh, one of our newest main members, uh, Razor man, so he just barely joined the clan maybe I want to say about 10-12 days ago and he's just He's running with it, man. So, still plenty of time, but uh, it's it's good to see. It's good to see uh, a lot of our members come out to these competition, and uh, it's fun, and it's a lot of good prizes. So, pretty good prizes for first, second, and third. So, uh, if you haven't uh, signed up for a sanctioned uh, SRL competition event, you should, because it's really fun, and uh, good prices, and there's still plenty of time left. So, get involved with those events. Yeah, and. 
Here's another thing, too. I know a lot of people might be here tonight to also be, you know, supporting Bella Bunny and, and everything that uh, that she does, which is awesome. She's uh, I'm super excited to be interviewing her. Um, if you're not a part of Allegiance, though, this is the stuff you're missing out on. You know, we got a speed run tournament happening in January. We have a, a contest right now for SRL happening. There's just so much we provide to our community. Um, if you're on the PlayStation, you don't have a you don't have a community that or you're unhappy with the community you're a part of, we'll open you with our open arms. I mean, we're here for, for the, the Destiny community as whole, and we'd be looking forward to having you. So um, so with that being said, um, we're at the 10-minute marker, guys. So what does Aww, that mean? Man. Is that first oh, prize time? It means it's time oh, yeah. to give something away, man. It's time to give something away. Well... We do have a first question. It was kind of roll, rolled over from last week, and it's for our fellow viewers that watched uh, Allegiance's draft special, um, which was uh, last uh, Saturday at like 6 or 7 o'clock, um, and uh, it involves our fellow ambassador of our APAC divisions, Mr. VZ Fade to Brad. So the question is, is VZ Vator Brad said he had a sleeper pick of the tournament overall when it was completed. My question to the fellow podcast viewers is, who was his sleeper pick that was drafted in the draft special? So give me the name of the administrator he believed is the sleeper pick of the entire draft special, and you guys will go ahead and win the first prize of our Christmas special. So, um... Uh, Zod, Cole, help me out with seeing who will answer that first. Brad, you are not allowed to answer. I see your name on there. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, Brad. <laughs> and also, just quickly, I saw I saw something too. I know uh, Chaser was out there asking, you know, if we finalize the rules yet. Um, Chaser, that's coming down the pike. We will have a kickoff uh, special for our speed run tournament in which we'll go over all of the rules when they are finalized. We're currently working on the first round to help you guys with practice sessions so you guys at least understand and know um, exactly what's available and what's not available so you guys can practice the first round um, and then the remaining rounds will be finalized as we move forward as well. So um, hopefully that clears up your question on your side. So I saw that. So... Guys, uh, the next thing on the agenda here is uh, we got some Iron Banner coming up next week, don't we? We do, actually. Well, it's the next well, week and a half? It's like week and a half, right? It's like 20, 29 ish Yeah. Or? So what will happen is as soon as the uh, SRO uh, is done, Iron Banner starts. And it'll be it'll be control again, um, which I'm a little disappointed. I kind of I, I thought class was very, uh, was very cool. It was very different. Um, I kind of wish they would have gone and, and maybe all you know have us pick both options or whatnot, or, or make it an option where we can go either or. But uh, they're back to control, um, and I believe that the gear that they have confirmed is the headpiece, which I'm actually excited for because I actually, unlike Cole, I actually love the uh, the Iron Banner yeah. headpiece. I can't wait to get my my hands on the on the Titan one and whatnot. So uh, that's exciting, and also. Um, I was looking at the uh, at the Bungie website. They actually for PlayStation 4 users, they have they actually have different Iron Banner gear as PlayStation 4 exclusive. So um, that's it looks pretty cool. Pretty sick. Yeah, it looks pretty. It looks it looks pretty good in my opinion. So uh, I'm excited that it's coming <coughs> back, man, and I'm excited to to get all the pieces of my Iron Banner gear because I'm a, I'm a collector. So I like collecting all the pieces and whatnot, regardless of how they look cool. And uh, it's not practical. Did you see the hunter cloak? It's not practical at all. I mean, the chainmail, a hood of chainmail, that's not practical at all. It's, it's going to get stuck on things in the environment. There's going to be leaves stuck in it. It's shiny. It's the, what are you from what? a mile away. It's not practical. I don't like it. So you're not okay. a fan. You're not a fan of the Iron Banner stuff coming out, Cole. Jeez. No, I'm not. I mean, it's the same standard green. How can we, can we get some gold going on? You know. Yeah, I will say that. I, I will agree with you there, though. That. I do agree with you there. I don't like the green on it, but for the I most don't part, like, like the diarrhea green. 
<laughs> okay, I don't need it. I'll agree with you there. But the thing is, it looks pretty cool though when you put a different shader. Although you can't, you can't switch the, uh, you can't switch the cloak for the hunters. But I mean, this doesn't yeah. surprise me. It is, it is hunters after all. So I mean, hey. like with, with diarrhea green. Oh well, shut I mean. it. It's warlock. true. You you said it yourself, right? You hate the cloak. It looks like diarrhea no, I don't green. Like it. You can't switch the color in it, so it doesn't surprise me that hunters would, you know, would get shit on that way. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm excited. I'm I'm very excited that it's coming back, and it's and it's great too. It's great to see that uh, Bungie has these different types of events. So we're losing SRL for now, and we're getting Iron Banner for that week. So it's just uh, you know it should keep us busy, and it should be fun. And uh, definitely look out for those events on the calendar. No doubt, Iron Banner is a very popular time on our calendar to uh, see the individual signing up. Should be some new and interesting gear that's coming on. That's very beautiful, according to Zod. Cole, she'd rather throw up on it. So that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but it should be, toilet paper. it should be interesting <laughs> to see what comes out and, and what people, uh, what people are saying about it. And, you know, is there any new guns, guys, or is it more just gear? It's oh, no, there's just gear. There are actually, they're, I know they're releasing the shotgun. Um, oh God! Yeah, the no winter's the wave coming. Oh. Yeah, so they are releasing the shotgun with it. So we'll see. Um, could be different. Yeah, it could be different. It'll be it'll be interesting how. Uh, here's the other thing too, right? It'll be interesting how this Iron Banner plays out because it'll be the, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be the first uh, Iron Banner with this new patch of weapons and whatnot. So mm -hmm. uh, it'll be interesting to see how that looks like and uh, how the competitive balance changes in PvP. So. No if doubt. there's any changes at all. No doubt. So we still haven't seen a winner on the first uh, Christmas present, Allegiance Christmas present contest. So guys, keep asking away, um, or keep answering away. Remember, the question was, in the draft special last week, in Allegiance's draft special, who was Brad, who's our uh, APAC ambassador, who was Brad's sleeper pick? Um, so make sure that you're sitting there and getting that answer, and the winner will get the first Christmas Allegiance present. So, with that in mind, guys, we are at the 16-minute marker. I think it's time to bring in our special guest. Um, so let me kind of set the stage for her first. So um, Bella Bunny, I, I worked on her for probably close to a month in terms of trying to lock down a date um, relative to, you know, her joining us here and um, unfortunately about three weeks ago she got sick and then we were actually packed up with a couple of uh, interviews that flaked out on us um, which had nothing to do with her or anybody else it was just kind of the nature of the beast and uh, and it was nice to uh, you know reset it for this time around a week before um, week before Christmas and she is the founder of Dames of Destiny she's a co-host of uh, Guardians Radio and uh, let's introduce to you the lovely, the luscious Bella Bunny. <laughs> what? Luscious? I don't know. It wasn't I, awkward before. It's awkward now. Oh yeah, I, I like I like oh, to yeah. set the stage as awkward. It's going to be very yeah. awkward, but it's fine. The best intro awkward. I've ever had, though. It made me blush. Oh, no. So thank you. Hey, hey, you know, I try, I try. You know, it's funny. Our last oh, interview God. person was uh, Big Fry um, a couple weeks back, and I said the same thing, and he he was like, oh wow. That's, that's great. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you don't. Wow, you say that to every. You say that to everyone. Every guardian. Yeah. Really, yeah. Oh, you just. Oh, everyone no. no, no, no. We don't say that to everybody. What? No. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I do. Sorry. I just. Yeah. I just. I look at people like human popsicles. I just. You know, oh, there. Yeah. There's some. There's some <laughs> orange popsicles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So, so Bella, time for a conversation. Wait, you want to lick people and you find popsicles luscious? I am learning so much. About I know, this I know. You know, I don't know how I've I've led a community to 900 members with how crazy I am, but all of them are my little popsicles. And at the end of the day, I'm the ice oh cream man <laughs> trying to distribute these popsicles to the fellow Destiny community. So that's how I look at it. Do I get to be a fudgesicle? I call fudgesicle. Fudgesicle. What kind of flavor are, are we? Cold. <laughs> it's <laughs> even a weirder question. Cold. Don't get racist. <laughs> All right, enough. All right, I so don't let's. Don't racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that being said, buddy, how, how's your week been? You feeling a little bit better since we last talked? Yeah, I don't sleep enough, which is part of it. 
but definitely better than that week. That was bad. I, yeah. <laughs> it was not fun, and I apologize for my body saying that I didn't get to come be a popsicle. So. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah, it's. I get to be a popsicle, so. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's yeah, it's it's tough to be a popsicle every day, you know. But uh, but someone's got to do it, you know. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Bunny, let's uh, let's kind of get into your background here. So, so you have a pretty, uh, you know, large size following on Twitter, and you know, you you've built up Dames of De- how how big is Dames of Destiny now? Um, what are you guys like a year uh, in? Yeah, we're a year old, a little over a year old in October, September. We were a year. We we started like what is it like a few days or a week after Destiny dropped. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because cool. I was kind of nuts, and I was just like, hey, <laughs> we're going to do this. <laughs> and it went <laughs> boom, and it exploded, and it's really big now. And I honestly, I don't even know how many members we're at. I, I can't keep track. So, <laughs> oh. um, But it's really cool to see so how many people. So, Bunny, how would you get into gaming? You know, like, what what was your first kind of game, gaming console, game that really hooked you into gaming? What what was the what was the start of Bunny now being on Twitter and having a huge community that she created? What was the start of all that? Well, okay, so they're very disconnected, believe it or not. So, like, my first experience with gaming really was I used to play Crash Bandicoot at my friend's house. That was, like, my first real game. And uh, oh God, I was yes. a Game Boy person. I played Pokemon. <laughs> hardcore. Yes! And I played Nancy Drew games on the computer with my mom. That was like our bonding time because we're so cool. Like that. Um, oh, but no, cool. I I really didn't get into gaming until high school, and I got into COD of all things, which mm. I'm not necessarily proud of or not. <laughs> um, and then I met my husband, and he converted me to Halo, thankfully. And that's kind of where the whole like Bungie thing came from for me, I guess. And then Destiny happened, which I was actually super irritated with before it came out. Cause my husband was obsessed with it, and I was like, dude, it's a game that's not even out yet. You know very little about it. How can you be so into it? And he used to listen to Guardian Radio, like, every week. And he finally forced me to listen to it, and I fell in love, and then I ended up on the show. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, but no, like, the whole Twitter thing and all of it just kind of, it, it was one of those, I, I was like, oh, I need to, I wanted to enter some, like, contest or something that one of the shows on Guardian Radio Network had going on and I had to have a Twitter account to send it in so I made a Twitter and then boom 10.3 thousand Jesus Christ I barely have 17 (laughs) (laughs) how do you keep up with that like seriously how do you keep up with everything you do there's 10,000 crazy people out there is all I have to say to you (laughs) (laughs) oh my god that's amazing I don't know yeah like Destiny just really honestly to say Halo is the first real game that I played and got into but Destiny is the one that actually I would say made me a gamer wow so, so Destiny's in at the first. What's your favorite? I'm oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it. Like I was just that 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 oh, wasn't yeah. a that was a legitimate like what? So wow. Destiny was your first game that that you got into? For like really got into yeah like I was into Halo like I went to midnight release for uh, Reach and stuff like that but like Destiny is the first one where I've ever been involved in a community or got really like like every day I wanted to check what was going on and like listening to podcasts and YouTube videos and all that stuff. That was all bizarre to me originally. I was like, people do that stuff? Like, they get that into games? And then I was like, yep, they do. Because <laughs> now I do it. <laughs> it's so weird because that's what happened to me. Like, I don't think I really, really got into something like, you know, like the whole interaction of any game of this skill until I played Destiny. And I was actually, I actually was not going to get Destiny. I think I even told the story in the press. Uh, podcast one of my friends uh, he was he was so hyped for it and he went to the to the launch release and I went and I decided to buy at the last minute and ever since then I'm, I'm the one who's hooked <laughs> you know so so a quick pause that that real quick because first and foremost I know Cole you have a question but um first we have a I think we believe we have the answer to the first Christmas present we're giving out don't we guys we do we do oh yeah <laughs> so I will announce the winner, the official winner of the first present. Drum roll, please, Cole. Cole, come on, give me your drum roll. Oh, God. Every time? Yep. Every time. All right, here we go. There we go. And the first winner <laughs> is 
<laughs> Good old Darth Vader. So, Darth Vader, you won uh, your uh, the first uh, Christmas present, which is a $10 PSN gift card to the PlayStation to- Store. So, congratulations on the first prize. But now we have a second prize to give away. So... We are continuing giving away prizes tonight. So the second question before we continue the uh, interview here with uh, Miss Bunny is, uh, last week, um, me, Cole, and Zod went into trials. How many wins did we end up finishing on our trials card before the podcast ended? So all I need is a number, a quick number, and whoever the first person is to give me the number of how many wins was on our trials card, um, we'll go ahead, just wins, just wins, uh, we'll go ahead and win the second gift. So um, with that being said, uh, Cole, you can uh, continue with the question you had for Bunny. (laughs) So just to set set it up real quick. Belle, you're actually only the fifth chick I've met in Destiny, believe what? it or not. Yeah, you're only the fifth one I've met, which is blowing my Dude, mind there's like right a couple now, thousand too. over in the I know! <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I hang out with a bunch of guys. So yeah, I'm curious, because everyone's opinions vary, but what do you think the best class is? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> do you see, oh, you see what I am? That's yes. My answer. yes. I literally I don't have other characters. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Like I started, I started a Titan and I started a Warlock, and both of them are like level three on Xbox. I don't even think I have them. No, I don't. I do not have other characters on PlayStation. <laughs> it's Hunter all the way, and the Yay. only reason I ever considered a Titan is because I wanted to be ridiculously OP with my hammer. And now that they nerfed that, I'm like, whatever. I can just stick with Hunter, so I'm good. <laughs> See, son. See. Hunter's I'm disappointed. I so, no, basically, no, my no, response to that no. is literally what I just did. I jump off the tower for that answer. Yeah, I'm, it's just, what I'm hearing right now is just very disgusting, quite frankly. Yeah, very um, disgusting. Well, fine, we'll just stand on this side. Suck it. Yeah, you stand it. <laughs> you have to come over here, too, now. Come here. No, yeah, I'm not Stevie, going you are a hunter right I'm, now. I'm, I'm a titan inside. Yeah, he's he's he, yeah, he's a titan at heart. A titan in hunter clothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm wearing right <laughs> now. I'm, I'm, co- I'm confused. He gets a confused right now. Look, yeah. look at the way he's dressed. Does he yeah, look like, like he's a hunter? No. <laughs> he's just no, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> um, so, so your first kind of so Destiny's really what got you into it, Bunny. So, so tell us kind of, you know, you were getting into Destiny, right? And you um. You know, you enjoy the game a lot. So, what made you build Dames of Destiny? What was what was the motivation to start Dames and and you know, kind of give us a an idea of you know where it began and ha- and how it got to where it is today. Okay, so I was listening to Guardian Radio and I would be in the chats and stuff, and I realized there were a number of females in there that I was kind of getting along with, um, and it kind of surprised me because coming from Halo and COD, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> If you even find a female that actually will admit that they are a female in one of those games, it's like you mark that on your calendar, right? Like, it just doesn't happen a lot. And so it really kind of blew me away. I'm like, okay, so I kind of wonder how, there's got to be a whole lot out there. You know, like, there's got to be more. So I was just kind of like talking with some people, and I'm like, hey, would you guys want a female clan? Like, just kind of a way to find other female gamers. Because, like, a lot of times we're kind of in the shadows a little bit, just whatever reason like it may be, a lot of times it's just past experiences. And that was another thing, is I wanted to provide a safe space that is not necessarily exclusive, but that just if there's people who are not comfortable because of previous experiences, they have a space that they know is going to be safe. So it's not just about being female, but it's also about having a positive environment to be in. And so I just literally, I was just kind of like, whatever, let's just see how many people just randomly decide to join. I figured it'd be like five, right? And so I hit the button to start the clan, and then it just kind of it started rolling. And then Guardian Radio promoted us and had me on, and then I got on Guardian Radio. And then Bungie gave us a community focus, and we've been a Bungie bounty, and it's just like, there's so many female gamers out there that I did not know about, and it's so cool to see all of these. Like every time somebody joins, we ask them to kind of share their story. You know, why did you join? 
And you see all these people explaining, you know, that they did have bad experiences, that they didn't know there were all these other females out there. And it's so, it's kind of life-changing for them to, to have a space where they can kind of meet each other. And, uh, and then having our branch off clan with safe gamers as our co-ed version <laughs> of Dane. <laughs> um, so the whole positive gaming thing was kind of cool, too, to see these people who wanted to support dames, wanted to be in dames because of the ideals there, but they weren't allowed to because they didn't identify as female. And uh, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of cool to see, like, that, that community that's grown off of that. And I feel like it's a really cool representation of the community that can exist in gaming worlds that we don't often see as a stereotype. And I, I would definitely say from my experience just with you guys tonight, even I would say you guys definitely qualify as that, too. Like, it's cool to see Destiny have so many clans that come out of it that prove that gaming stereotype is wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. That was my and, and I think that's answer, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, no, no, it's it's fine. But I, but I think just to speak to your point, it's um it's true though. We um like Cole mentioned, I it's very rare. I mean, the female there's female gamers out there, but I think that just what they're doing in general, just to provide that platform for all the female gamers just to come in and and feel comfortable because I have heard stories of, of bad experiences and uh, it's it's a shame really uh, to hear some of the stories but it's also great to hear some of the other uh, stories especially uh, with the Dames of Destiny and whatnot to to see all these uh, all these gamer females come to light because um, there is a stereotype and yeah. you know it's that's just the truth of the matter is and there's a, it's it's cool that we're in uh, we're in a new age of gaming where all these different you know all these different stereotypes are just they're just wrong and and we're seeing all kinds of different gamers and whatnot so mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about this branch off. I actually didn't even know about that. So it's, it goes Dames of Destiny and then, what, what is it, Safe Gamers? What was it again? Safe Gamers. Okay. Yeah. Um, it literally is just, it, the name's supposed to be very directive. It's, it's a group of people who, who game safely, meaning positive, not not the negativity. It's a, it's a safe zone, very accepting. You know, you if you're what would qualify as quote-unquote a squeaker, which I hate that term, but like if you're younger, you're older, you have lots of experience gaming, you don't, you're male, you're female, you, your sexual orientation, whatever it may be, Safe Gamers doesn't judge, and if there is any judgment going on, then the person doing so does not belong there, and uh, so it's just supposed to be kind of a, let's have fun, let's teach each other how to play the game if you need help, uh, kind of thing. It literally happened just because we had so many guys who wanted to be um, like in alliance with Dames. It got to a point where I'm like, I have no way to actually keep track of individuals who want to be in alliance with us. So like, let's just actually make you guys your own clan. And it started out as like this just, we're the allies of Dames and it's grown way beyond that and it's just, they're, they're their own thing now. And that's really cool to see too how much that individual community has grown. Um, and the cool thing I like about both of them, too, is that we made the decision not to make it exclusive. Like, you don't have to be just in one of those clans. Um, you don't have to rep our clan at all. You can be in whatever other clan you want to be in. So, Cole, <coughs> hint, hint, if you want to join, Dane, um, totally open to you to do so. I think Stevie would staff me in my sleep. <laughs> oh, God. So, are you guys more of, like... So that's where I'm. Uh, I'm sorry, Cole, but I'm just curious. Um, Every time. Yeah. I know, I know. Um, so, so, but so, Dames is not. It is a community, or is it more of like an outside community for gamers to get together? Like, because I think there's a, there, there might be a disconnect on the way people think of. Um, communities, right? There's different types of communities out there. There's ones that, you know, have clan tags and are all together with clan, clan tags, and then there's other communities out there that get a bunch of people together, but they might be a bunch of people together in a bunch of different clans, let's say, right? Um, so, is it kind of more of what this is? Yeah, I would definitely, there's, we've got, like, two different groups of people that join Dames or Safe Gamers. There's the ones who they want to be a dame or they want to be a safe gamer. So to them, it's a clan, you know. And then there's other people who it's, it's more that, that community concept. It's that they can come and go as they please. They're from, I mean, if you look through our list, there's so many different clans represented within ours. Um, so we're just kind of a tie between a lot of different clans. And, uh, like, Safe Gamers has a whole bunch of dads of Destiny in it, but they rep dads of Destiny instead. And, um... 
So, like, it, it definitely depends on the person. We definitely, like, we host all sorts of events and stuff for people who really want to be involved. You know, we do raid races. We have a sparrow racing league thing coming up this weekend. Actually, I think it started today. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, so, like, a lot of things that you guys do, we do the same sort of thing. It's just, like, not every single person, because we have a couple thousand, are always involved. You know, that's what happens when, you, as you start getting bigger, which you, you guys are telling me you have like 900 members mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> so you definitely, yeah. you're, 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 you probably are starting to feel that same sort of thing as like, there's lots of people, but not every single time, every single person as is as involved as the person next to them might right. be. Right. And yep. uh, so yeah, no, it's definitely. I think we're a mix. There's definitely a mixture in both clans, but it's meant to be that open-ended sort of community for anybody that's actually really cool so you could have like different representatives from you know individual clans in dames mm -hmm. you know female representatives that's pretty cool actually i like that a lot it was really cool actually because the other day we had um during the the bungee bounty we had a person who is a safe gamer playing with another friend who's a safe gamer but when they actually won <laughs> against Bungie, and when you look at the screenshot, neither one of them are repping safe gamers, so you've literally got these two other clans represented because of safe gamers existing, and they met each other because of that. You know, and that's, that's cool to see all those connections that actually happen, like, between all the clans that exist within ours, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually really cool. It's like a conglomeration. That's pretty nifty, actually. Well, thank you. <laughs> I like that a lot. Well, cool. Well, I think we are at the time. I think people are starting to ask for the next prize to come out since we're at the next 10 minute marker. But first, we have another winner for the uh, for the good old Christmas prize gift. Zod, would you like to announce the person who won the second gift? Sure. Zod? And that. <laughs> person is, I'm sorry, I do tend <laughs> to go on a little bit of meat here, uh, it looks like Ethan994. Ethan D. So good old Ethan. So Ethan, you got the uh, prize. The second prize was a $25 gift card, um, also to the PSN store. So Giving away thirty-five dollars so far, guys. We have Darth Bader from the Allegiance Computing winning ten bucks. Now we got Ethan who just joined back up. He's he's come back home. Um, he's won twenty-five dollars um, in terms of a PSN gift card. So I believe, buddy, we're getting you involved in this third overall gift, are we not? Yeah, I have a question. Who, buddy, has a question? Hard. Oh, that's a good one. I can tell. <laughs> you guys heard my evil laugh about it when I figured out what questions. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think someone commented or, uh, you know, said something about an evil laugh, maybe, in, mm -hmm. the, in the box. Yeah, they were asking, asking if, if... We sound alike. <laughs> we do. We sound alike. And they're asking if you have an evil laugh like I do, because apparently I turn people into stone when I laugh my evil laugh. So. Oh, no. It's cold. No. She... she no. Doesn't. It's oh, more like on. silly putty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my, my, it's a luscious laugh. Come on. My, my yeah, let's hear the evil laugh. We got. It. Come on, Cole. <laughs> let's hear. A, let's have a laugh. Let's do an evil laugh if I'm not yeah. stabbing you somebody in the back and ripping yeah, up your skin. So imagine yeah. you're trying to stab you me in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, you're stabbing Zod. Oh, go, uh, go chase Zod right, right now. Go. And come on. Really? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Run. Well, go the, run, Zod. Bray has to run. No. Go. Go, Zod. Run. Run. We can follow God, them by. Oh, God, Come on, let's go. Come here. I will run. <laughs> Come here. Run. For the sake of... <laughs> run. Come here. Come here. I'm going to stab you. Come here. <laughs> Christ. Come on. Let's go. Well, this is, a, this is pretty <laughs> sad. <laughs> there oh, go. my God. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there you go. There's the left. That was... <laughs> that was her evil laugh. So. Oh man, oh, that's, I know oh, it's, it's, it's it's quite famous in in our uh, community. Yeah. The evil laugh. So apparently. <laughs> All right, bunny. So let's uh, let's give them this this crazy <laughs> difficult question. You've you've chemistrized in the bunny chemistry lab. Chemistry? I don't know. <laughs> I, ju I just I just created a new word, so. You're like putting in the Shakespeare right now, making an evil scientist. Huh? <laughs> um, Can I give us an evil okay. laugh? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll get there. Anyway, so, as many of you know, when you look at a vex, 
they have like this white stuff in their tummies and I always call it vex milk which apparently spread I don't know so it's called vex milk in my world but in the actual destiny lore the technical term for vex milk is what oh. I can't answer this and it makes me mad <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So you've heard the question, Bella Bunny. What is the so-called actual term for the vex milk in the middle of the vex's stomach? So first person to answer it on the um, on the Twitch feed will win the third prize that we have. Um, I guess the first the first answer we have was mind fluid. I don't know if that's right. I have no idea if the question is. That sounds really gross. <laughs> mind fluid? <laughs> yeah. Mind I don't know fluid. what that is. I won't I respond to it. I want to feel like a green filling, like donuts. Man, <laughs> next one is man juice. Oh. I don't think that's right. Um, so, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so let's keep let's keep an eye on the feed, Twitch, and Bunny, maybe you can help us out with that as well. And. The, uh, I know. Gonna get so many <laughs> the, the tickle spot. <laughs> the tickle spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Is that a milk? Oh my god. This is like the worst thing ever. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Good so, question, by the way. So <laughs> moving on. Question. So moving on. I have, moving on from the uh, milk uh, question, um, <laughs> which is which is interesting to me. Some of the answers that I'm seeing, but um, what uh. What happened with the whole Bungie thing? Like, how did you guys get the community spotlight? Was that just kind of randomly? Did the Deej come up to you, or was it Cosmo? Like, who was running that at the time, and and uh, how did you guys get on that? It it was it was Deej. Um, like, we I think a lot of it came from when because uh, with being on Guardian Radio, like my name kind of pops up a little bit more directly to Bungie, I guess. And um, yeah, he just he did he did approach me about that. We'd kind of been in contact before about a few things here and there. And then there was like the Guardian Radio did a bungee bounty, so I actually like got to talk to him. And uh, so yeah, I, I think part of it is that they were trying to get back into the whole really promoting clans mm -hmm. at that time too. And I think just the the fact that we did kind of go out on a limb with the idea of doing an all-female clan, because we've also gotten a lot of flack for that, like, a lot. <laughs> um, we get ca called sexist, like, every other day for it, you know, Seriously. and that's, that's fine. <sighs> we're, you know, we're, we're used to it at this point, but, um, so I think, I think part of them, I don't think it was special treatment or anything because of that, but I think it just, it brought attention to it, and they, I think that was kind of a, hey, let's highlight this, this clan that kind of went out there and took this risk to build something that's a little bit different than what we would normally be used to, I guess, for a clan. And, um, I don't know, so yeah, he just shot me an email or whatever, and he just answered the questions with an admin team, and, uh, got some quotes from some of our members of, like, what they like about Danes, and threw it out there, and, uh, I believe we're the reason that there's no longer a comment section on uh, Bungie's posts. On oh boy! <laughs> website. Oh jeez. Because um, it was right after that that they removed being able to leave comments because they had to monitor ours so much. Wow. <laughs> it kind of blew up in, in good and bad that's ways. Cool. And, like I'm not 100% wow. sure. It just definitely timed out that that's when they just happened to remove the comment section. Yeah. But no, it was that was huge for us. We had a huge influx of members. Of course, we had to deal with some trolls with, uh, as well. You know, people trying to, well, uh, yeah. you know, get in that aren't female. But it was that was such a cool experience for us, and the it, we got a lot of a lot of notice that I I am so glad that the clan got because I'm the one who's sitting here because um, I happen to hit that button, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not the clan you know like they it's the admins my team of 20 plus admins and all of the members who who do the day-to-day -day stuff that make the events happen that you know are the people who are connecting to each other they're the ones that made games and safe gamers what they are today they were just ideas in my head and i just kind of like i do some of the technical stuff but they they're what make the community what it is and I think it was a really cool experience for them to see their clan recognized that way. So, 
I'm, I'm really <laughs> baffled that you guys get labeled as sexes. I really that oh, that I, that no, bugs me a little bit. Yeah, I it's, see it, but I'm just surprising. My response <laughs> always is literally my response always is if it's if it's very clearly a guy saying it, I'm always just like because they always go up the whole route of well if we start an all male clan, I'd be like one, do you know how many of those exist already? Whether they stated yeah. or not, exactly. <laughs> two, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, and the dames, as long as you're doing it because you think it's needed, and and yeah. you're making it for a, a real reason, we'll support you, we'll promote your clan, we'll send the people who try to join ours into yours if it's for a real reason, awesome for you. And then always shut them up, because they're like, wait, what? You support them? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Like, yeah. you know. And that's, that's the thing with kindness. Clans, all clans have that. Every single clan out there. No matter how open-minded you may be, every clan has something that they kind of look for, whether it is just being positive or it's being involved enough or a time zone or a gender, whatever it is. Like, that's that's kind of the point to clans is finding people that are like-minded in some way. And, yeah. you know, so I'm going to get off my soapbox right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's what I think you should celebrate about a clan is what makes it unique. Why does it exist? You know, like for you guys, why does your clan exist? What made you oh, start God. it? That's what's cool about it, you know? That's a long story. <laughs> that is a very long oh, story. Oh, it's a very long story that Stevie yeah. tells every time. <laughs> Not that it's a sad hey. story, it's just a very hey. long one. Yeah. But, I, but, I get, but I get where Mel's coming from, and, and yeah. one, of the, uh, one of the things that I love about Allegiance is just, nah, I mean, we are a huge clan, but I, I love the aspect of, of getting to play not, not only with people, but uh, with people all over around the world. And that's one of the, uh, that's one of the coolest things for me about our clan. And, and I, I get what you're saying. Every every clan has its purpose and and you know, and its little reason and whatnot. So. Yeah, and it's. Quick question. Sure. Okay. Sure. I just said we do have a winner. I don't know if you wanted to wait. I just had a question about how it works. So they have to have the exact. Um, thing? depends on what exact is. So if it's like. Well, Brad's not allowed to win, right? Well. <laughs> I would say, I don't know. I would say Brad could win, right, guys? I mean, he's not really, you know, it's not something that he's whoa, consistently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, no, 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 yes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah no. Okay, win. all right, all right. So Brad can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, Brad can't win. And no. then, do you want repeat winners or no? That's fine. Yes, they can. They could be two in a row. Yep. Okay. So who do we got for a winner, Bunny? Yeah. I guess we have Darth Vader. Um, technically, it is. Milky, radio, Larian, fluid, but you have the right thing. You knew the most important word out of it, even though I think milky is the most important, but you know. Um, so congratulations, <laughs> Darth, again. <laughs> nice, Darth. So Darth has now won $10, and this prize gift, let's open up the wrapper. Come on, Zod, open it up. Open up the wrapper. What was wrapper sound like? Oh, God, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a rap. That's a drum. I don't what, what kind I, of rapper? I can't what kind of rapper do you open? Well, <laughs> there we go. No, perfect. That sounds perfect. That sounds perfect. That sounds perfect. So, so the third gift was a three-month subscription to GameFly. So, um, congrats, B uh, Darth. You have now a three-month subscription to GameFly that you can test out some new games if you want and and check out some of the the stuff that's coming down the pike. So, um, we have a a fourth prize we're going to give away now, right, Cole? What what is the fourth prize question? Question to the community that's watching. So, I need you guys to list off all of the interactive balls in the social lobbies of Destiny. So, I need you to name what the ball looks like and where you can find it, and you have to give me the exact total. So, you have to go ahead and start that. We watch in the stream, but you have to be exact with the type and the place. Well, there we go. So that's that's pretty in-depth question. Um, but with an in-depth question comes a pretty awesome gift. I can't wait we, we, until we unwrap this one. So, Bunny, do you have any questions for us while you're here? You know, we've asked a lot of questions to you, but do you have any questions relative to who we are or um, anything that, that we've done? Well, I mean, I, I, can there be like a Reader's Digest version of how you guys have it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. So, um, so basically, I started this clan in uh, in September of 2014. Um, I uh, was rolling with a lot of guys that were um, about 10, 12 deep that I've been rolling since SOCOM 1. I don't know if you're familiar with the SOCOM franchise of uh, PlayStation, but um, I rolled with them for quite a long time. And what I noticed about Destiny was it was a lot had to do with um, the people around you and getting into raids, and it was a ve very social game. And I kept getting kicked out of Vault of Glass runs because they were like, "You're not, you're not experienced enough. You can't get into Vault of Glass." I'm like, "I'm not experienced enough because I can never raid. <laughs> like, you know, like I can't get experienced if I'm never in." So um, I broke off of that group. I decided to start my own thing, and uh, it kind of just. Yeah, I built the infrastructure that that uh, that we have, um, and it just kind of grew on it uh, on its own. You know, we have uh, we have one admin for every ten members. We have one administrator, um, and our policy is to Ooh. yeah. So uh, so we have <laughs> a lot of. That means that you guys are just super awesome, or the dames are completely nuts for having the lower number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so you're I like answered. You're like better than how prisons are run. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very organized. Uh, that is one of our pluses. Um, and uh, what we have is we have a structure where each administrator has a requirement to do two events per week on our events calendar on our website. So we average between 60 to 70 events per week on our calendar right now. Um, and we're not even close to fulfilling um, admins relative to what we need relative to our growth. So, um, so basically our mindset and our mentality is to help as many people as we can. Um, and allow them to finish any and every part of the game that they might have not necessarily um, uh, finished before they joined Allegiance, um, while at the same time creating friendships and a show social atmosphere where they can create long-term friendships in general. So um, that's kind of our kind of foundation, I guess, uh, is what, what I created. And it's funny you said a lot of this stuff, Bunny, is, is one of the things was... Um, you don't really um, do much anymore, right? It's it's the people that kind of run the show on Dames. Like you kind of just, from a technical aspect, and right, you you said that you kind of you just have. It's the same way with me. What I've noticed is, you know, without Zod here, you know, Zod's an NA ambassador and Cole and a, a bunch of others. It's it's really it's the people that run the community at the end of the day, right? It's not one said person. And uh, I found that quite interesting that you said that because. Uh, your mindset as a founder is very similar to mine, um, which I think is why you've created a very successful community, and that's what Allegiance is trying to become. You know, we're kind of baby, baby in terms of I don't think we're quite where we want to be, um, but we're we're really working hard to get to that kind of you next level community. Way more organized than we do, so I consider that very <laughs> successful. <laughs> Holy crap! Like I'm super impressed right now. Like, and part of me wants to be like, okay, so can we have like a little side meeting sometime where you can tell me how you're you're so organized. <laughs> love to hear that. Um, but yeah. I, do, I do have two questions for you then. Sure. One, after the holiday season, would your clan want to do some kind of raid race or some sort of event with Dames and Place Gamers and do a stream with it? I think Ooh. we would love to do that. You know, yes. I mean, I think that would be, I think that would be something the community would love, and uh, you know, at the end of the oh, yeah. day, it would it would build the allegiance name as well. Um, which is which is what we're looking to do at the end of the day, also. So I don't see any problem in doing that. <laughs> well, we'll be in contact with that. And the other question then is, um, it's more of a suggestion. So Guardian Radio is starting this thing where we're doing clan focuses on our show, and I really think that you should write in your non-shortened version of the story <laughs> about your clan <laughs> when we have our thing up, which comes out on Monday. There's a form you can fill out. And then that way you can highlight your claim, because I personally, just after talking with you guys, like, I have to be completely honest, I, I have not known a ton about you guys on Twitch tonight, and I'm really sad that I didn't, but I'm really glad that I finally do, because this this is definitely a relationship, like, between our clans that I think could really be something cool, and uh, so I definitely think you guys deserve being highlighted. But I'm not supposed to be biased or anything, like, I don't get to pick, just, you know. <laughs> I think you should fill out the form. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to uh, you'll have to definitely uh, you know we'll stay in contact via Twitter, Bunny. I, I run the uh, Allegiance Twitter, and you know we'll definitely try to get our name in. You know wh where my focus is now in the community is getting brand recognition out to our name. So you wait, know because 
You were talking to me in third in third person. part person, yeah. Just to confuse you. Ah, dude, that's so much with my head. I was I like, know. who am I talking to? And then you're like, oh, go add so and so. I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't the same person. And now I'm really embarrassed. And I hate it's you. okay. We'll, I best do that. I know you are. I like to mess with people yeah. sometimes, you know. Nobody knows who you're talking oh to, God. so that was kind of a. Lo <laughs> it was a little love tap of emotion, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, terrible. Do we have an answer yet, Cole? Or are these people struggling with your uh, your question? People are actually struggling. Oh, well, struggling? Should we give them a hint? hint? Should we give them? A hint? Uh, no, no hints. No hints. <laughs> no hints. They can figure this out. They no know. hints. No hints. <laughs> um. Oh God. Okay. Zad, do you, do you have anything else for Bunny? I, you know. It's been, like she said, it's been over a year, and it's taken off uh, so huge and so big and whatnot. Uh, do you still play Destiny? <laughs> I'm just kind of <laughs> curious. Like, how, how much do you yeah. play this game with all the work you have to do? That's a good question, because, okay, so so on top of dames and safe gamers, which, like I said, I don't really, I mean, I, I make administrative, like, decisions with dames still, safe gamers. I've kind of let them go run off on their own a whole lot more, but I still check in. And then there's Guardian Radio every week, which we're also growing a lot of stuff with that. I'm the community manager for Rectify Gaming, which is a gaming website, like a news website. And my mom <laughs> of a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to own my own photography company. So I'm crazy is pretty much the answer. Um, but no, actually, honestly, other than Sparrow Racing in the last, like, two months, I have barely gotten to play this game and I got a lot of crap for it like people were yelling at me on Guardian Radio for not finishing the raid and yeah. not get but I have not gotten to finish the raid once I wanted to run it blind and yeah. then too because I'm a crazy busy bunny I'm like that energizer bunny and yeah. at some point my batteries are going to run out you guys <laughs> like, I'm, I'm <laughs> like I'm looking at everything that you're involved with everything you do I'm like where does she find the time to even <laughs> step into destiny or whatnot but uh no I mean it's 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 great it's understandable man with a lot on your plate and whatnot and it it takes a lot I'm pretty sure cool and Steve you obviously agree with this it, it takes a lot oh, to yeah. run the community of this, of this it takes a lot that stuff so. Yes. That's, yeah. that's why I'm so thankful to my admin team because they have they have noticed that and they have really like and they've always stepped it up but recently they're just kinda like, Hey, so you're kinda nuts. Let's make you less nuts <laughs> and and just like <laughs> huge, huge thanks to them because like that without them I would be <laughs> my yeah, and that's, would have died a long time ago. And I think <laughs> and I think we should definitely, you know, hopefully maybe we can talk um you know, on the side, Bunny, because one of the things that we've instituted as an infrastructure with our community is is we've tried to make minimum requirements for our admins so low that they can still work a full-time job or a part-time job or whatever and have a real life being an administrator of Allegiance <laughs> with having the type of activity. Um, so we've built an infrastructure where our admin team is actually, their requirements are, are very low. Um, and the ambassador team, uh, safe to say I put a lot on these guys because <laughs> there's it's a lot, but <laughs> But um, but at the same time, it's it's just such a large community that um, you know we uh, you know we're in constant contact and and all of our ambassador team is very tight to be on the same page and to roll out certain things in, in a fairly timely manner. So it's uh, I would love yeah, to have that conversation yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to go crazy. I mean, I'm a little nuts. I'm a little nuts too. Don't, 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 yeah. don't get me wrong. I, I warn you, he's very very I went crazy. crazy. Had nothing to do with dames or destiny. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That'll be man. a different topic for <laughs> a <Yeah>. different day. <laughs> oh, good God, man! So, Cole, do you see anybody who has the answer? I'm not seeing it. Are you? Well, actually, there is one answer. I was hoping somebody else would get it, but we have a repeat again. Oh we my! We have a repeat. Oh yeah. no! Is yeah, it? It's is it? Repeat. it? Who is it? You know who it is. You can say his name. Come on, Stevie. Come on, no. Say it. Say it, Cole. No, I know. So, it was Darth Vader. Oh, again. my goodness. He got it right. He's, He's, this prize on himself. <laughs> He's cleaning up right now. <laughs> so, there is two void balls. The one that spawns next to the bounty guy 
and the cryptarch here in the tower is the same ball they don't spawn at the same time then there's another void ball up where Lord Saladin comes uh, doing Iron Banner. There is the soccer ball over to the left stairs leading up to a very pointless balcony. And then the server eye in the reef. So there's actually four interactive balls and only Darth Vader got it right. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Darth Good Vader. Job, Darth, man. Good job, yeah. man. I mean, you're cleaning up tonight. So, uh, so this present, let's uh, let's open up the present side. Uh, how do you open up presents? Is, wasn't it with the drum again? Oh God, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll give you a little <laughs> drum roll for the excitement, but <laughs> all right. Ready? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get for this. I gotta, I so, uh, yeah, yeah. Why, why are you purring to the to the to the people of the podcast? <laughs> well, um, you know. uh, that's what you like to do, right, Zod? All right, so uh, so right you have <laughs> you've now won a three month subscription to Loot Crate. So, congrats, Bader. What? You now you have. <laughs> so you not only have only gotten a ten dollar gift card, you've also gotten a three month subscription to GameFi, and now a three month subscription to Loot Crate. So congratulations, Bader, on that. We have one more question to go, and uh, it is for the grand prize of a PlayStation controller. So we talked about a lot here today with uh, with Miss Bunny herself, the the crazy yet cuddly bunny, um, and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, and basically, we talked about a lot of different stuff, so I'm trying to think of a question that we should ask. And the first person to post the answer will win the controller. So, I'm trying to think overall what a good question would be. Bunny, maybe maybe you could help me out with this, since a lot of the stuff we'll be asking is stuff that you said. So... Is there anything that we should ask them that will be a good answer? Maybe have them think a little bit, but all they had to do was really listen to what you were saying. Are you trying to ask me to remember the things I just said? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys are supposed to be listening, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you told me I had to come up with one question. I know. Um, Welcome now to the welcome to the official Legions podcast where I randomly throw stuff on yep. you. <laughs> oh yeah, happens all the time. At least it's not pudding this time. No, it's not pudding. Stuff around. There was pudding throwing. Oh yeah, that was that was last week. <laughs> you missed out on it. People just <laughs> slinging pudding. It was it was a free for all. It was crazy. <laughs> so. Oh, if you don't want to know, it was uh, it was interesting. There was a little, little corn in it. I think it, it was, was weird. Vex milk pudding. Vex, what? Vex milk. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, but that just sounds so nasty, Vex milk. <laughs> like. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. You Vex. could you could ask. I don't. This is not necessarily asking the question. I'm just asking you guys. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to think of the number of things I said. <laughs> just talk for a second, so it's not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. What is it? Okay. The six different things I listed that I am crazy for all doing at the same time. Ooh. Uh, that is a good question. Ooh. That is a good question. Well, five ones that I currently do and a sixth one that I used to do. Ooh, okay. So do we want all six of what you used to do along with the five other things you currently do or just the five things you currently do? No, she. All six. One, all one six, of them includes. Oh, one of them includes. Yeah, one of them, Yeah. All I mean, six. that's a big prize. That's uh, a big prize. Yeah. That's a, that's a controller. I mean, controllers are not okay, cheap. Okay, so it's the six things that I do um, within the community and my life that I listed that make me the Energizer Crazy Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> can I literally? Can no. I use that little tag like that quote of like crazy but what is it crazy but cuddly? It's gonna be like the, my the, tagline. the crazy cuddly bunny. Yeah, you know that's that's straight <laughs> up you. I think that's you in a nutshell. You know, I, you it know. Really we got a hashtag. We'll put on shirts. It's gonna be buttons. Gonna yeah, be my community hashtags. doesn't call me much of anything. I mean, we have a couple of PVP players in our community who call me Scrub. But other than that, I don't I don't yep. get too many like yeah that's <laughs> like I got, you know our our buddy Funky Brave from the APAC decision. I'll, I'll I'll be in the middle of a trials match. I'll be like five wins in, and then Funky will come in and be like, oh look at this Scrub. Look 
get to scrub his scrub. And I'm like, what the hell, Funky? And I remember promoting this kid, and he was the quietest person oh in the world. And now he's calling me a scrub so every day. <laughs> he was so funny. Uh, just reminded me of that. Andre, like... cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but you're missing, you're missing one anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Hello. Copy and paste uh, in Ethan. Looking, mm. looking to go through that Twitter. I'm mean, gonna guess yeah, if you add in that's... like YouTuber and streamer, and but no, you're missing mm. at least one. Just one. And I so. think that cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I like this Joshua Santiago oh, guy. He's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zod or uh, Cole, do you have any other questions for uh, for Bunny? Um, uh, actually, I do. Is this gonna sound a little weird? But uh, oh boy. since I game with a bunch of guys, I want to know how a female team works because I've never been on a full female team. <laughs> I don't There's know how that mentality laughing. works. A lot oh God. of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I what, do you, what do you mean exactly? Like, like I don't know. Like, because I won't say from our clan, but from the few other games that I've played, like say Halo, for example, because I used to be huge into that. I actually tried to be in a full female team, and all it was was freaking drama. Like, all the time in Halo 3, it was drama all the time. Like, oh, you're such a stupid bitch. Oh, bitch, why'd you pick up the shotgun? It's like, the, but, and that, that's what? As, as much as I hate to admit it, like, I, I don't want to go stereotype here whatsoever. But because there are, I mean, it's the same thing if you get a group of guys together. You're risking when that's you have true. hormones of the same type. <laughs> <laughs> in a group together, they do clash at times, and so either route that you go, that's, I think that's why the whole having some, they're not really rules, but just kind of what we ask, like we have a code of conduct for our clan, and and so that's, you know, that helps a lot, I think, is you have, you don't have that name calling going on, and as much, and when there <laughs> is, then it gets reported to us, and we, you know, we, we step in and we talk, but honestly, like, if you're two, two answers for you. One, go watch our Twitch, our past Twitch stuff, um, especially raids. Um, or I would like to personally invite you to come join one of our events sometime, like like or just a group. I could pull together a group of people and just kind of show you because honestly, I have never heard that much laughing ever before. Like the first <laughs> time I did a raid with all Dane. We were doing Vault of Glass, and there's this thing where, like, they, they come up with different names for, like, their different, um, like, when we do raid races, they have different names for their groups. And one of them literally just picked Ledge Pushers, because they have this <laughs> thing where anytime you're a member who hasn't played with them yet, they initiate you by shoving you off the ledge right before you, hmm. go, like, when you drop down sounds, and go do, like, Oh, uh, it's amazing. Sounds familiar <laughs> of, uh, familiar. what Cole does to new members yeah. of Allegiance. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Tell tell uh, <laughs> tell Bunny what you do. Well, first of all, Bill, I would absolutely love to play with a whole group of dames or females or whatever because I've never experienced that, so it's that would actually be really freaking awesome. So <laughs> totally up for that. Um, I actually uh, <laughs> what these two are talking about. I actually uh, do a lot of training runs for you know lower light people or people who have never raided before because I find it absolutely hysterical and fun it's actually my favorite thing to do is taking complete noobs because mm -hmm. i'm crazy and uh so when wh whatever raid it is i i go through each stage explain all the mechanics you know be a good teacher raid education you do raid yeah, education we, in yeah. games and safe gamers that's what we call it is every every week or so we have for each console um, a person usually like on Xbox One, it's always my uh, admin Misha because she's nuts. She's done like the raid a million times, and she does that. Like you go through and you teach each thing. You go through like if somebody hasn't done sword before for Crota, like yeah, you know, mm -hmm. out, and so that's really cool that you do that too. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. But uh, so like in the new, I'll just use uh, King's Fall as the newest one. But like uh, so either on War Priest or Golgoroth, doesn't matter which one, but I'll have the new guy, um, I'll play some, let, let's say uh, War Priest, for example. He has to stand behind one of the uh, doorways where the War Priest comes out, and he has those two empty sections. I have him stand there. When the War Priest out, comes out, I tell him, you have to run up behind the War Priest when he gets to the center and shoot him in the back for a damage buff. <laughs> they believe me every time. So, you know, they run up there, and they're trying to get him, and the war priest suddenly smashes them, and I just laugh my 
my ass off because it's hysterical. And they're like, what? I trusted like, you, Cole. So yeah. you just like, put all your you. faith hysterical. in you, and then oh you God. just... That's probably the best thing. Belle, this is the best thing, though. So I don't know how I started this, but I did. So even with members who have been to a raid a million times, I'll, like, after a stage is done, I'll be like, hey, guys, don't forget the, the secret ghost. And they're like, oh, I've got all the ghosts. I'm like, no, this is a secret one. It's not in any database. It's the one they randomly put in the game and forgot about. And they will actually follow me to wherever I'm going, and then I'll immediately turn around and whip out my ghost and say, "Oh, it's mine!" And they fall for it every single time. Oh my God, it's hysterical. It's like the best. She, she made one of my friends hilarious. run around the patrol oh. of the dreadnought oh my God, that was for probably crazy. a good 20 minutes. Like we were like, "Nope, nope, yeah. this and that." I mean, and then follow me for 20 and minutes. And his name was Envy Me, and he sits there and he's like, "Oh, where are we going? Where are we going?" And Cole's like, "Come here, come here, come here." And then <laughs> after 20 minutes, she goes, "It's mine." And he's like, really? <laughs> really? And he's like all like upset. It oh was funny. God. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. So. So, oh my god, I love it. Do we have an answer for 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 you, Bunny, in terms of did anybody get it right? They got five out of six, right? But because it was a copy-paste. Yeah, there's paste. two different people that had five out of six and they would combine their answers. Because <laughs> they're each oh. kind of like the opposite one. Um I think, yeah. <laughs> so if they were just to, you know, yeah, combine and I mean, it's, it's up first. to you guys if you want to go with. I say we go with the five. You want to go for that five for the sake of time, guys? So yeah, who was the first person that got the straight five? I guess it would probably price. be Joshua because. There were a few things that I don't do that work well. I mean, I do them. They're just not things I listed. But uh, Joshua got them without copying and pasting. Anyhow. Without copying and pasting. <laughs> Good. All right. So uh, I like that. So Joshua. Well, well, it was it was Dame, Safe Gamers, Community Manager for Rectify, Guardian Radio co-host. I'm a mom, and I used to own my own photo company. Look so at that. So it was, it was very close. So <laughs> awesome. So Joshua, if you haven't yet, um, in order for you to redeem your prize for your controller, just please uh, register on our website, exallegionsex.com. Once you're registered, just shoot me a private message, um, Stevie Bizzle, and uh, I'll set you up with um, um, a uh, next day uh, PlayStation controller in the mail. So you should probably get it before Christmas, which is awesome. So. Yay! So cool. Well, I have final thoughts about this this whole great podcast that you know bunny you called that we would go over an hour so <laughs> kudos to you My you said that way ahead. Yeah. Any minute, so. well yeah and your daughter was in an alleyway for an hour and 10 minutes oh. so <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah right she's not in an alley to uh, uh, so I get, like, social services, social services? <laughs> hey so we were listening to legion's podcast call the government no. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, so my final thoughts about this was I, I really think based on what we've heard from you tonight, Bunny, and, and what, what Allegiance is, is there's a lot of similarities. I mean, between you as the founder um, to, you know, what you guys have relative to a community as a whole, but also your foundational structure of what you do for fellow Destiny players. So I found it quite interesting to kind of hear someone that has a lot of similar values um, as a community of, of your size to, you know, really what we're trying to build and grow here within Allegiance. So um, with that being said, I really appreciate you guys, you joining us and you joining me, Zod and Cole, and, you know, really helping us continue to not only build our name, but also to getting a little, to getting to know a lot about you as a gamer, as well as, uh, you know, what Dames of Destiny is all about. So, you know, for me personally, well, I appreciate you. that. So. It's, it's honestly, it's a huge honor whenever I get asked to come on to talk about, you know, the, the awesome communities that I happen to have a hand in, you know, and and then to get to learn about you guys too. Like I said, I I have to be honest, like like I didn't know a ton about you guys, and I am so glad I got to know because now I've met a whole nother large clan that I am super super proud to say that I know and have a connection to. So thank you guys so much for having me on. Well, cool, guys. Well, it is that time, unfortunately. We have to say our goodbyes. And, um, Cole, do you want to do the farewell song that we uh, created that you want to sing? Um, we have, uh, 
you said something about you wanted to sing a song, didn't you? Yeah. I, I, I did. Um, Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin Laid an Egg. <laughs> that is, so that was completely copyrighted, and hopefully the feds aren't watching that since she, the Cole uh, will be arrested for, for complete copyright infringement. It, um, but yeah. thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. We are here every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, um, 7 p.m. Central. Um, we give away prizes every week. We don't give away the amount of prizes we did this week, but we do give away one prize each week. <laughs> and um, next week we, got, we have Guardian Outpost that's joining us, so we'll be having a one-on-one -on -one interview with Guardian Outpost. Um, so David is a really good guy. I've talked to him a, a, a couple times. He knows a lot about the game, and um, that should be a very interesting interview. And if you haven't checked us out yet or haven't checked out Dames of Destiny, um, you know, check out Bella Bunny's uh, Twitter um, at B-E-1-1-E-B-U-N-N-Y, and uh, check us out at xlegionsex.com. Thank you so much, guys, for attending, and we will uh, we will see you next time. Later.